Well, good morning, good evening, good afternoon. Day three of the Copenhagen Major is in the books, which means it's time for the breaking news. Let's jump right into it. We start off with the one in threes. They are now officially eliminated. Lin Vision lost to the Mongols. That's right, they lost to the Mongols. Taking a big L at Ancient 8 to 13 and a big L in Anubis 6 to 13. It really wasn't all that close as Mongols destroyed Lin Vision, leaving West Melon and Starry, one of my rookies of the year, out of the major, unfortunately. But that wasn't the only team in the division. Sorry. Apex. Apex lost to Legacy. Handily. Yeah, I don't know what's going on with Legacy, but apparently they didn't like it when they were said, hey, we're going to put you in the 0 and 3 category. Yeah, no. Legacy trounced Apex. 13 7 Ancient, 13 7 and Inferno. It really, again, was not close. And even though it was a strong showing out of J. Kim, yeah, Apex, sorry to say, you're out of here. Ants. Ants, what happened? Furia absolutely rolled Ants. 13 8 in Mirage and 13 9 in Ancient. And put up 17 total rounds. I don't know what was going on. And Glaive even got knifed by Art. <laughs> so yeah, Ent is officially out. But it was good while they were here. Their only win was against Koei in overtime. And they had some promise. But getting shellacked by Pain and Fury like that, you're not going to go far. Sorry, Ent. You're out. But now we go into the two and twos. And this is where things get crazy. Imperia lost to Ecstatic, unfortunately. One to two. Ecstatic beat the Daylights out of Imperia at Anubis 13-4. But Imperia struck back even though it looked like Ecstatic's map from the beginning at Inferno. 10 to 13. So Imperia, good on you. And then you put up nine in Vertigo where Ecstatic put up 13. There's still hope around this roster. Let's face facts. There is hope around this roster. Phelps, No Way, and Vinny, and Decenty, you need to get back to your prime a couple of days ago. Otherwise, Imperial, I don't have a lot of hope of you making it forward. Change my mind. Make it in. And from the fall of grace, Saw at 2-0 is now 2-2 two two after a crushing loss to Pain 0-2. Yeah, um, Pain brought the pain. Saw went down 10 to 13 and went down 7 to 13 at Nuke. Pain out the get go was 7 0 at Nuke. Saw was unbeatable on Nuke. That's their home and they lost. I'm, I'm not completely losing faith on Saw yet. They still have one more game to play and barring who it is, Saw, I still have faith in you. You need to get it together. I have faith in you. Come on, Saw. Legacy. Legacy is pissed off that they were 0-3 from everybody. So they took it out on poor Apex. Yeah, again, 13-7, 13-7, Ancient and Inferno. Cold Sarah, Lotto, and crew are not taking this well. They want blood. They want it now. Barton has been going off recently, and this team is looking more dangerous by the day. I'm sorry. I'm sorry for Legacy. I'm sorry. For, I'm sorry, Legacy. I will never put you in, a, in an 0-3 again. Keep going, Legacy. I want to see chaos. Gamer Legion. My God. I don't know what to do with Gamer Legion anymore. They're great. They're bad. They're awesome. They're terrible. What is happening? And it could be more telling than this. Overpass, it was all Gamer Legion. 13 to 4. At this point, we were saying, pack it up. Gamer Legion's going to the legend status. And then they put up 2 on Inferno for the entire game. Internal Fire, Reaming them 13 to 2. Vertigo, it was down to the wire. Eternal Fire put up 13 and Gamer Legion put up 11. So this is where Gamer Legion's at. 2 and 2. Their 30 year old legend in Snacks is absolutely doing well. I have faith they can move in, but it's misplaced faith. Gamer Legion changed my mind. I want you to move on. Come on. The Mongols. The streak is over. Thank you. Where? The Mongols for the last three majors were three and nine. They're two and two. And they beat Lin Vision two nothing. Thank flip. Just like in the RMRs, the Mongols handily took care of business 13 to 8 and 13 to 6 on Ancient and Anubis. And the Mongols right now are looking strong. So, Mongols, here's my question. Can you make it to legend status? Because right now, I want chaos. Oh, I want chaos. Also at two and two, Furia. Ow! Oh! How is this team still alive? I am convinced Fury is on a vendetta right now. After going 0-2 and everyone is saying that they're dead, Fury has come back from the grave. And officially, Fury are now 2-2, two two, raring to go into the legend status. And right now, Caserato is in god mode. No, seriously, 
Cancerado is in effing god mode. After absolutely destroying Ants in both games, 13-8 and 13-9, yes, it was closer than most would like, Art went completely insane. Chalo and Cancerado are going completely backcrad crazy, and right now this team is looking more and more complete. I mean, when you take a look at Cancerado's most recent games, he is literally god mode. He is carrying this team on his back, crying and screaming to say, no, we're going to the legend status, get on. So, Furia, my question to you can you go from 0-2 to 3-2 and two? at this point i want you to prove all the haters wrong i want chaos and now we go into 3-1 status these are the teams that clinched their spot to the legend status pain gaming honestly i didn't see this one coming and i really should have because era went absolutely mental with a plus 13 k to d ratio uh, yeah, because there is not just any IGL. He is fragging out of his mind. And considering they beat a very talented Saw, 13-10 on Vertigo and 13-7 on Nuke, I'm sorry, Pain is here to stay. So congratulations, Pain. Welcome to the legend status. Take a breather, take a break, and get it back together. We humbly apologize for having you as ON3. I didn't, other people did. Eternal Fire. Okay, I'm the first to admit it. I was wrong about you guys. You are not frauds, as it turns out. Beating Mongols and beating Pain, yeah, you did good. Losing to Heroic, I went two, bit of a step back. Beating Gamer Legion, though, a pretty strong Gamer Legion, might I add, that's pretty good. After rallying from four to 13 on Overpass, you destroyed Gamer Legion 13 to two on Inferno. And then Vertigo came around and it was down to the wire. Wikadia, Santeres, Major and crew got it together, but as if all of that couldn't be any better, it, it's 12-11 Eternal Fire. How about a Ninja Diffuse and Smoke? Eternal Fire, welcome to the legend status. You deserve it. Ecstatic. Are we completely real with you? I'm shocked. No pun intended, I'm shocked. Congratulations, Ecstatic. You deserve to be here. Even after losing to Cloud9, beating Mongols, and beating Lin Vision, I apologize. You made it fair and square. Beating Imperial and a decent Imperial at that, no pun intended. You beat him 13 4 on Nubis. You lost 10 13 on Inferno, but you came back and clinched 13 to 9. Nadios, Queen X, and crew are officially in legend status for the first time in team history. And honestly, I couldn't be more proud of them. Well done, Ecstatic. You deserve to be here. And you already know about Cloud9 and Heroic, so that's it. That was the games today. Here's the chaos. Yeah, I can't believe it. But on top of all that, we have matches tomorrow. There are three games at five o'clock Pacific time, eight o'clock Eastern time. It's Legacy versus Mongols. If Mongols beat Legacy, they will be legends for the first time in team history. That is huge. And on top of that, Legacy, Cold Zero could be going back to legend status for the first time in a very long time. Imperial versus Game of Legion is next on the docket at eight o'clock Pacific time. Uh, D Decent T versus Snacks. Oh man, this is a heck of a game. I kind of have Game of Legion on this one, although Imperial could absolutely throw anything at the wall and stick. I have high hopes on this game and I just hope that it's a very good game. Game of Legion, I'm counting on you. And finally, Saw versus Furia. Are you kidding me? From 2-0 Saw and 0-2 Furia down to 2-2 Saw and 2-2 Furia. This one has Nail Biter written all over it, even though it says Saw is clearly the favorite. I don't know who to pull for. I don't know what's going to happen. Throw a coin at it. It's a 50-50 shot. Comment down below who you got, Saw versus Furia. And that was day three. What a chaotic day. If you enjoyed, make sure to like and subscribe because we have a whole lot more coming up in the near future. What an absolutely crazy day. Comment down below if you saw any of the games coming? Did Eternal Fire impress you? Did Imperial kind of disappoint you? Did Saw disappoint? Is Furia messing with your pickups? Comment all that down below and even more like what you had for lunch today. Peanut butter jelly sandwich. And I will see you guys in the next one. Have a fantastic rest of your day. I'm out. Peace.